There's a town in Pennsylvania where the ground has been on fire since 1962. Not the buildings, the ground itself. And it started with one of the most questionable decisions in American history, and that is saying a lot. Centralia, Pennsylvania was a mining town of 2,800 people and has been a mining town since the 1800s. That was until May 27, 1962. The town council needed to clean up the landfill before Memorial Day, so they did what was common practice back then. They set the trash on fire. The only glaring problem was that the landfill was on an abandoned strip mine, and it was connected to a maze of coal tunnels that honeycombed the entire town. The fire found a coal seam, and by the time it got underground, it was already too late. The town tried to stop it. They poured water into the mines, but the fire just moved. They dug trenches to contain it, but the fire just jumped them. This affected the town of Centralia in really bizarre ways. Gardens stayed green in winter. Snow melted in geometric patterns, revealing the tunnels below. Then the sinkholes started opening. In 1981, this 12-year-old boy, Todd Dombowski, was just walking through his backyard when the earth just opened. He dropped straight into a 150-foot pit filled with toxic gas. He was able to cling to some truths as the hole tried to swallow him. Then his cousin pulled him out just seconds before the hole collapsed. But that was just the beginning. Then people's basements filled with carbon monoxide. One gas station measured levels at 50,000 parts per million. The lethal concentration is 35. The main route through town, Highway 61, buckled from the heat, with some spots reaching 900 degrees Fahrenheit. So the state just abandoned the road, left it there cracked and steaming. Even the cemetery grounds became too hot to touch. By 1983, the government had to shut the town down, and then they did something almost unprecedented. They revoked the zip code. Today, Centralia's population is around half dozen to a dozen people. It's mostly residents who refuse to leave their homes, but there's no local services. There's no mail station, no police station, no emergency response. The fire now covers 400 acres underground. At current rates, there's enough fuel to burn for another 250 years. Some geologists think it could burn for another thousand. The townspeople would joke that hell is hot, but Centralia is hotter. Follow me for more spooky science series all October long and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for a very special Halloween episode at the end of this month.